Canadian Health News breaking a world record for a good cause. That's what organizers of Hands for Life are trying to do in Stamford. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa says the focus is on a life-saving technique. Signs, signs, and more signs. They're dotting downtown Stamford. Be a hero and save a life on August 25th. Okay, we would like this Stanford and the entire state of Connecticut to come down to Chelsea Piers to learn how to do hands-only CPR and make Connecticut and Stanford very heart healthy. That's Chelsea Piers in Stanford. Hands for Life wants to set a new Guinness World Record. The goal? Training 10,000 people on hands-only CPR in one day. You're going to check them. Hey, hey, are you okay? Call, call 911, and then you're going to start doing compressions. Interventional cardiologist Dr. Tom Nero says CPR doubles the odds of surviving a cardiac arrest. Essentially, by doing the compressions, you're going to keep that body and brain alive until someone can do, get a defibrillator there. That's exactly what happened to Lou Smith. Oh, I wouldn't have survived. At a parking lot with two co-workers close by. And one of them drug me out of my car and started immediately doing hand-on-hand -hand CPR. The other called 911, and within a couple minutes, the Darien police were there with the defibrillator. You're going to push down about two inches, and you sort of want to do it to the tune of staying alive, which is about at 100 beats a minute. It's the first time for Mary Morris to learn about CPR. But it's more physically exerting than you think it's going to be. So check, call, and compress, and give someone a fighting chance at life. Dr. Nero says the worst thing you can do if someone goes into cardiac arrest is not to do anything. Hands-only CPR takes about 15 minutes to learn. That's nothing compared to the life you could save. For more information about Hands for Life, log on to WTNH.com. Back to you.